Hey, what's happening, guys? Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about data logging with the Arduino. Uh, if you don't know what data logging is, that is uh, taking sensor readings and saving them for review later. There are a couple ways you can do it. Probably the simplest way to do it is to write your data to an SD card. Now, since the basic uh, Arduino Uno does not come with an SD card in it, and of course neither does the Nano Mini or the Mega, you need uh, an SD card reader. And in this case, we're going to look at this ST, SD card shield, which uh, you just guys just saw me open in the Slow Boat from China episode number eight. Now, what's nice about this shield is, as you can see, we have the pins that go into the Arduino. And then we also have stackable pins so you can put other things on top of it. Now, what is also nice about it, let's bring us up real nice and close here, is that we have a couple of Grove headers so that you can plug in any sensors you have that have that Grove connection. And you can see this one here is uh, I squared C, and that one there has RX and TX. Now, in addition to having the standard SD card reader on here, it also has a very nice micro SD card reader. And uh, let's see, there's the chip that's on there. Now, one of the things you're going to notice about this is a couple of things on the side. We have a reset button and we have this three and five volt slide switch. So when you're using this with your Uno or basically any five volt Arduino, you're gonna to wanna to have that in the five volt position. Now, since this can work with lots of different things over here, we have this SPI jumper and uh, I'm going to put a link down below as to how to set that jumper for different types of Arduinos. But if you're using an Uno, nothing needs to be done. It just works. So for our example today, we are going to data log temperature and humidity readings from this DHT22 sensor that I received from icstation.com. Now connecting all this couldn't be any easier, really. We're just gonna take the shield. I'm gonna zoom out here a little. And plug it in to the Arduino. Boom. Then we're gonna plug in our five volt line to the five volt there. Ground goes here. And in my example, I'm using pin D8. So I'll zoom in here so you guys can see. So we have the data pin, which is pin two from the DHT going to digital eight. Otherwise, it just gets 5 volt and ground. Final thing is we plug in the SD card. That's it for the hardware. Let's take a quick look at the sketch for this. It's also very simple. All right, so here's the code for the Arduino data logging. Three libraries. DHT for the DHT sensor, SPI, and SD for the SD card shield. Now for the DHT sensor, we need to tell it what pin, so DHT pin 8. And we need to tell it the type DHT pin, or DHT type DHT 22. Then we're going to create an instance of DHT called lowercase DHT using those two arguments 
that we just specified above. Now for the shield, we need to tell it where chip select is. Uh, in my case, and in your case, if you're using the same shield and an, R, uh, an Uno, chip select goes to 4. Now for our setup, serial begin. And then we'll just wait for the serial port to connect. Once it does, we'll initialize the card. And we'll say if serial begin, chip select, or if not serial begin on chip select, then the card failed and the program ends. Otherwise, the card is initialized and we begin the DHT sensor. Now for our main loop, we're going to begin with a delay. I'm using two seconds here, which is the minimum delay for the DHT22. Uh, if you're going to leave this running, you're probably going to want to leave it something longer, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you have the minimum delay of two seconds. Then we're going to declare this variable float h, and it is going to be the humidity. And float f is going to be the temperature with the argument true, so it reads in freedom units. Next, we're going to declare a string called data string, and it's going to be empty. And here comes the simple part. Data string plus equals string H with humidity. Data string plus equals a comma. Data string plus equals string F. So we're taking those two float variables we declared up here, and we're adding them to the string, so we end up with the CSV file. Now we're going to open the file, file, data file, equal sd open, and the file we're creating is called data log text, and we're doing a file write. Then if the file is available, that's this if data file, we do data file print line, data string, which is of course what we've just done here, and data file close. And then we serial print line it to the screen just for debugging. Otherwise, we print error. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's power this up. You can see the power LED on here is lit, so everything is working good. Let's go take a look at the serial port, and then we'll take a look at the data file itself. Okay, the sketch is uploaded. As you guys can see, it takes 47% of storage space and 46% of dynamic memory. Let's pop open the serial port. And there we go. You can see it is writing data every two seconds. Uh, humidity and temperature. Now, if you're going to run this, you know, continuously, you probably don't want to... Uh, be uploading every two seconds, maybe every 15 minutes or 30 minutes or whatever. All right, let's take a look at the uh, file itself. Okay, I popped the old SD card in the reader. Open folder. Two. There we have it. Data log. It is comma separated values. CSV file. You can open this up in any spreadsheet and rock and roll out. Right, so now you guys know how to do some basic data logging with your Arduino. You can uh, data log from as many sensors as you want. Just add them to the string and write them to the file. So if you guys like this, give me a big old thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, ask any questions you like. I do read every message. If I don't get back to you right away, I, I uh, try and get to it as quick as I can. All right, catch you next time.